Any questions here? Any questions here? Let's get it on. Section an intersection without any stoplights and every not looking for the big punch from the outset. Tommy using this jab like he is. It's going to be very, it's not too big. He's gained weight in all the right places. It as formidable a picture as there is in the heavyweight division. Yes, he's a very intense. This fight already, guys, is that Lewis is jab. A jab. Hard right hand. Ball. Reason that they think this is a bad habit is because the best time. Dominated the action so far. Straight right to the body zone. That will move Tommy Morrison's hand already. Come out low. Huh? Right. Enough, you'll figure out instead of taking it over here close enough, maybe take it right on. It's that jab. He's trying to force. Tried to land the right hand over the top, but he threw 52 snapping jab body. That way, later in the fight, if he's talking of Lennox Lewis's fighting style. That it's a big step forward. One thing we've noticed in Lewis's past fights. Body as well. He's the shorter fighter here. For him to have an advantage, he should throw. Tommy was breathing. Long stride, and that's the body shot. I thought it was a left hook. The fighters had their backs to it. That he throws. That's what happens to Morrison. Lewis. Little left hook from Lennox Lewis that put Morrison down. As apparently to move his head more, he makes himself a still target for Lewis. Lewis looking down. down in the round for Lewis. Whatever it inside, if it is, it's one of the most impressive punches we've ever seen. Letting him fight his fight here because we're at the end of his punches. Okay. It's like a gate trying to block Morrison's way in with it. The last round. The way he's throwing the hook is almost as though he's... Morrison landed a straight right after the opening exchange, but... Lewis must be careful here. Marked the 11th time in the decade of the 90s that Tommy Morrison's... Lennox dictate the pace. You can count for a 12th knockdown because he will go. Uh, Lennox throws these punches so he can slip them and get in. It's the case. He won't get inside. Well, he that, There he's inside. He can, he's punching between Morrison's punches, which is what I told you. If I were Morrison, I would be... State Athletic Commissioner Larry Hazard looking to national direction. I can tell you one more thing that I can see. Morrison, I thought, landed a big but grazing right. You keep making him move back. Take the rest of his strength. You don't have to worry about no head movement as you're coming in. Huh? Such as Tommy Morrison. I wouldn't try to walk him down. I would take a big shot. More and more frequently with those right hands as he steps inside. Going to make him fight him much harder than he is doing right now. So yeah. about, there's a reason that if Lewis listens to Stewart and elects to walk on in, big sharp punches because he throws powerful sharp punches. It was correct when he said there was no way he could outbox Lennox Lewis. The Milt Lane gets him at, at the distance again and kind of bring awareness Lewis has not always shown in his career. But Tommy just tried to do, countering over the jab with the right hand. On the way back. If it falls, he'll have to be very careful of that right hand right there. And that's winning more punches. Morrison may be landing the harder shots, although the most effective blow tonight. Blood from the right eye of Morrison again after that left hook. Walking down, firing punches. You let him out too many times. Output normally goes way down in this stanza. It happened to purposes. He's never won a fifth round in his career. And as the graphics swell, and it's going to start, his eyes are starting to swell. And this is just a very tired... The only thing is that Morrison is to nothing, 20 to 35, Lennox Lewis. I gave Lennox Lewis. Harold Letterman, how do you have it scored so far? His eye can't see the punches coming. And real, real good defense. Tommy's not getting through, and I think Vergetz is killing. Right hand over. He's been very effective in the first minute of this round. Hey, hey. Morrison is trying to fight Lewis the way he fought George Foreman. His arm, and that means you're that much further out of your own range. Both eyes and... Appears to be about to take over now, expression on his face. These things energy sometimes that you don't even have to want to get him out. Say. As has been the pattern, punches were blocked by Lennox Lewis's arms. And there's a mouth. Morrison knew it, he went immediately. Before. Morrison has the I give up look on him. Lennox knows this and that Morrison throws, and they're insane. So he cannot hit Lennox. Homework on Morrison. 
He's using some of Morrison's own combinations on him. That's this fight, as we've often seen him, but it's that short one. I got the left one. All right. Give him a round. Stop the fight Take himself unless Come Morrison can do so. He wants to go out and see can he land a big shot now. Oh, he that's a terrific right hand pace. You might have heard Morrison say to the doctor, I've still got my... We'll make a statement here anytime. In has not been a factor so far. Down goes Morrison. About his eye. He's letting his eye take him out okay. of the fight. Begins to showboat just a little bit. Now he comes back to the jab. This is the round that Morrison stopped. Lane's getting very close to a stoppage here. You get that sense. Down goes knocked out of the fight. And that'll do it. That he completely neutralized Tommy Morrison's for Lennox Lewis. Emmanuel Stewart has been saying to him, he was used to backing up and being out of range. But see right there, he was almost the same thing I did to Paz Denzel. He let Morrison. Once again, you'll see the jab do the damage there, followed by the finishing right hand. All he had to do was hit him. This first one, that's the jab that really did the damage. Champion Lennox Lewis. Landed more than twice as many punches as Morrison through jabs thrown in six rounds by Lennox.